welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Elliot Morgan. Scott Routley was left severely brain damaged after a car accident and for more than a decade has been believed to be in a vegetative state. But for the first time in that decade, he has been able to communicate that he isn't in pain. Scott's one of a few patients being treated using an incredible revolutionary technique developed by researchers at Cambridge University. It's a technique that uses functional magnetic resonance imaging or a fMRI scan that detects changes of blood flow in the brain. Scott is told to imagine playing tennis which makes blood flow to an area of the front of the brain or the premotor cortex for all of you brain enthusiasts out there. All four of you. Once in the front of the brain, the blood flow is detected by the fMRI scan. Then Rowley is told to picture himself walking through different rooms of his house, which then activates an entirely different side of the brain, the parahippocampal gyrus set in the middle for all of you head noodle lovers out there. You're really nailing this story for you guys. And then yes or no questions are asked. If the answer is no, he imagines playing tennis. If yes, walking around the house, which is pretty freaking awesome because he can answer questions now. Now Scott Rowley is one of the first patients that has ever been able to answer whether or not he was in pain, which no doubt was comforting to the friends, family, and doctors that for the past 10 years had no idea whether or not he was. The doctors hope that in the upcoming weeks, Scott will be able to answer questions like when he hopes to have dinner, a question that would normally never have an answer. So cool! Scott's parents have known for a while that their son was very aware of his surroundings and his state, but they never had proof, and now they have a way to communicate with their son. And his neurologist for the past 10 years is incredibly impressed and amazed by his cognitive responses. Now, not all vegetative patients can respond using this technique, but for patients like Routley, this is groundbreaking. For a man that hasn't been able to communicate in 10 years to finally have a voice is just awesome. Not to mention with this kind of technology, imagine the doors that could be open, how many voices could be heard again, and how if we really work hard enough, we can have mind readers and never have to talk again. And that is the ultimate goal. It really is. Brilliant. Brilliant. So guys, if you could communicate something with your mind, what would it be? Let us know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, click this annotation for our five daily stories, and you can go to sourcefed.com specifically for this article to learn more and all about it exhaustively. I'm Elliot Morgan. And I'm Lee Newton. Goodbye. Goodbye. Or I mean, well, I guess it's with our minds, so it's like...